Power Rangers Talks with Pikachu Master. So now we can begin. Hello everybody, this is Pikachu Master 5 for 2 with another new and exciting series. Now, in this series, I will be talking about do 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 everything Power Rangers, which I'm gonna do this show, which I'm gonna call this show Power Rangers Talks Show, which make it comfortable. And I can explain what my Power Ranger talks. Power Ranger talks is. So you see, when the Green Ranger and the Pink Ranger love each other very much, they. I'm just kidding, not that kind of talk. Ask your parents. Also, when you're like a teenager with attitude. So, what my Power Ranger talks is, it's mainly me. You know, talking with my Pika Pals about everything Power Rangers, which is either talking about the show, talking about favorite episodes, the collections, new stuff that I bought, etc., etc. And so I had a good idea on the first episode, which which I forgot to do for like a long time. So, if you notice on my YouTube channel, on my Power Ranger video section, I did a vlog for Power Morphicon 2022, in which I was going to do a, like a haul video after, you know, I went to Power Morphicon Day 0, 1, and 2. I didn't go to Day 3 because I, me and my bro were really tired. So I didn't show off the to you guys. The stuff that I got at Power Morphicon. And I got a, a few like cool things. A, cute, cool, a few cool new Power Rangers items. As well. So without further ado. Let's get into this episode. Okay. So we're going to go in chronological order. Okay, so we'll start off with day zero. Okay. So on day zero, okay. So on day zero, I went to pick up my badge for Power Morphicon 2022. Is it 2022? Oh yeah, 2022. So for the event, it was for the event. They made like a little thing. So. So, for like the theme for that year was Mighty Morphle. Of course, every, like, almost every, every image on like the past Power Morphicons has the Red Ranger, which is you know, the OG MAPR Red Ranger. And also it had Gokai Red, slash Super Mega Force Red, and Dino Fury Red. At three rangers for like the event, and it shows like the like the event info for PMC, like when you can pick up the badges, which was on a Thursday, from twelve to eight, and then also Friday to pick up at around eleven to four p.m. for people that could go you know, on the Thursday. 
Also, there's like barcodes for photo ops and panel groups. And a little wristband, too, for the day of. So. This is my, let's see. So this is my third Power Morphicon. So this is my third my batch. So, let's see. If I remember correctly, me and my bro got, I think it was the Red Ranger package, which was for all three days, including day zero, to go pick up the badges. And we got, let's see, I think we got, oh yeah, we got three random back, three random pins. So, the three random pins we got was, or I got was, let's see, I think this is Jetman. I hope I'm correct. The first badge is Jetman. The second badge is the Dino Fury logo. And the third badge is the Wild Force pin, which was just celebrating 20 years of Power Rangers Wild Force. It was released back in, I think, 2002. Because like, they also celebrate like a 10th anniversary special called Forever Red with all the 10 Red Rangers. I was happy to get the Wild Force badge, because Wild Force is one of my favorite seasons. And also, the three badges were like a mystery. Were like a mystery badge, so... It was like... It was like... You weren't... It was like... I can't speak. So, you didn't know which badges you could get. Or, not badges, pins. You didn't know which pins you could get. I was happy to get the Wild Force anniversary pin. And also the Dino Fury pit. So yeah, that's my badge. Oh, and also Super 7. Yeah, it also has the PFC logo, the Dino Fury logo, and the Super 7 logo, which they're like showing off, you know, new figures by Hasbro. I think it was by Super 7. Okay. So also at the event, I met the OG Red Ranger on Jesse John. And also while I was waiting in line, I got these cool little things. By, you know, one of the, by the, by the fan word. Cool people. Okay. Oh yeah, and I think I also got the, the PMC coin. Because that's okay with the pack in the package. PFC Donald Fury Red Ranger coin. And so. Oh yeah, and we got the the PFC exclusive figures. My bro got the so my because my bro's like a big Tommy fan and he got the the like like the the PFC exclusive Dragon Sword. Well I got the PFC exclusive Megazord. The last Morphicon, which was in 2018, we got, we both got that, like, the Legacy Collection Lord Dragon figures, which are still sealed. Because I haven't, cause I'm not taking that out. Because I already have, I have, like, two Lightning Collection Lord Dragon figures. One in box, one out of box. So here is the PFC exclusive figure that I got, which is still sealed. And no, I'm not selling this. No, I'm not selling this. This will stay with me forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. Okay. So now we go to... So that was day zero. So now we go to day one. Hopefully I can remember correctly. So day one. Oh. 
<laughs> meow meow fell. Okay, so day one of Power Morphicon. <laughs> Let's see. I know there wasn't a line because we just because we got the badges. So we went in like fine. And we bought a got a few things. So on that day, on Friday, I met, oh, also I got some cool stickers, which are Power Morphicon feed. Okay, so on that day of, I think Friday, I met, now, he's the voice actor for Elgar in Power Rangers Turbo. I think he was, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's accurate or not, but I think he voiced a character called Arc the Conqueror in Power Rangers Zeo, but there was also another actor that did, that voiced Arc the Conqueror, which was the voice actor for Midjor. I don't know, I, like, I read it off the internet, so if I get it, if I get it too correctly, then I blame the internet. So anyway, so I met the voice actor for... Oh, yeah, he's also the voice actor of Bexton from Kingdom Hearts, which was like a video game series I was playing. And so I made like a custom little print, or, like a little collage print, which he had me signed. And also my season 2 DVD of, of Digimon, Digital Monsters, which was also produced and dubbed by Saban Entertainment, the same company that produced Power Rangers. That was Saturday evening. And he would have a photo with, with the voice actor himself. He was pretty sweet. And the funniest so so what's crazy is like usually like when you like meet voice actors slash you know ranger actors or like actors in general, you know, usually usually charge for like autographs and photos. So so I was going, because like, I like, you know, saved up at least maybe 200, maybe 300-ish bucks. And, well, for the autograph and photo for Asa St. John, it cost me, like, like, okay, so. His autograph cost like 60 bucks, while his photo cost it like also 60 bucks, so it was like 120 bucks. So I had like two, let's see. God, I'm terrible with math. So I had two or one one eighty left. Yeah, one eighty left. And so I was gonna you know I was gonna spend like maybe like maybe thirty or fifty bucks for like autograph and photo. Cause I was getting two autographs and a photo. And what surprisingly is that well he signed my my print and my and my DVD, and also took a photo, and he literally signed it on the house. Cause also I was like, also, you know, like, like at least a little gesture from me to to the actors. It's I, you know, I give them little gifts, and like you know, like a like a drawing and a gift, like to say thanks for their work on the show, and like shows in general, well, on the show that games in general, so. So I got these, well not, well not the photo, I put it out later. So I got that and the photo with him on the house, which was like, what? That was like, awesome. <laughs> and so I still had, you know, some, like around 180 something bucks left. And so, I was walking around PMC, and that's where I spotted him. The Build-A-Bear Red Ranger plushie. Super adorable. I'm like, must buy, must buy, must buy. So I bought him. I think it cost me like around 20, 25 bucks, but it was like worth it for the plushie. That's because it has my last name. I'm not revealing it. I'm not revealing my name to any of you. It's Pikachu Master 542.
He's super adorable. Let's see. So on that Friday we just walked around and we all bought stuff and met people. Then on the Saturday I met a few other people. Okay. I need to put this in order. On the second day, so, so on Friday, I just, you know, met one actor and one photo, got one photo, and I got the bottle plushie, and also I and I, that's it. So that was the end of my Friday, day one. Day two, which was, gonna be, which was like the, my last day, because I didn't go to day three Sunday, which I understand why, because we were tired as heck. On day three I met, let's see, I met one, two, three, four, Four actors. I also like talk to to some cool vendors. So on, so on Friday, so on Saturday, I met, then I met up with, I met, you know, the actor for Vexen, there's even Prince because he also voiced Vimon from Digimon season two. And also I on that Saturday I bought. An Oryx the Conqueror figure. Now this is kind of an old figure. Because also, cause it doesn't, because originally it's supposed to be closed, but it doesn't stay closed. It just stays open. But it had all its parts, and it was like, maybe 10 or 20 bucks for it. So I went, huh, I'll take that deal. So I bought the Oryx the Conqueror figure. And I, you know, got him, got him to... Take a picture of him holding my Vima plushie and my Orc the Conqueror figure. So that was a cool deal. And also I bought my bro um, MPR Green Ranger figure. But with, like without the shield. Okay. So, next. So it's like, you know, continue walking around. Walking around, walking around. And then I met the. Then I met the Mega Force and Super Mega Force Yellow Ranger. Named Ciara Hannah. She was super sweet. That was funny because, like, cause I met her and um, another actress. And I got them, you know, like, you know, sweet treats and, like, gifts. Like, drawing gifts. She was, like, so. so I forgot what I, what I gave her, like, what kind of chocolate I gave her. Uh, I know it was like, one of them, like, was either Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I think it was Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Because, like, I got, like, a variety of, of sweets. Like, got Almond Joy, Mounds, I think Hershey's Chocolate, Kit Kat. And Kit Kat and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I think it was either I gave her Reese's Peanut Butter Cups or Kit Kat. I think it was like I think it was K Cat. No not K Cat. We used to be her cups. So yeah, so I got a photo with her. So she also had a like makeup for some more for as well, so so I have a photo of her holding holding her makeup for helmet and also and me holding my stage morpher and her holding her super makeup force helmet and makeup force morpher. So that's a cool photo. And also on that Saturday we went to 
Well, I went to a bunch of panels. I went to like the, the last like maybe 30 or 30 or 20, 20 or 30 minutes of the Power Rangers Turbo panel. And I also went to the Power Rangers Mega Force slash Super Mega Force panel. Oh, I also went to the Power Rangers Wild Force panel. But yeah, which was which before the panel, before the panel started. Was it before? Or was it after? I think it was after or before, man. I think it was after or before. But I also met the, the actress for Princess Shayla from Power Rangers Wild Force. I took like a bunch of photos. I also gave her like a little drawing of Princess Shayla and also I think it was I think it was a Kit Kat. <laughs> which was also which was what's her favorite candy. I'm like, oh sweet. It was a pure coincidence. I think it was like the last of the of the candy gifts they had left. And she was, uh, she was super sweet too. I think I took like well, I paid like twenty bucks for like the for a photo because I was like prepared to just pay for one photo, which and I got but like we took like maybe three or four photos. Or like different poses, I'm like, hmm, fine by me, that's cool. <laughs> so this is one of the prints I, one of the photos that I printed out. <sighs> that was cool. Oh yeah, and uh, also, the last panel I went to was for Power Rangers. Bloodline of the Grid. Which was a print I got. So I went to like a panel, which was for the for YouTube series called Power Rangers Bloodline of the Grid Space Ranger Saga. Which was to promote episode 2. Because so episode 1 came out already. And I was like excited to go for episode 2. And that was like the, the last panel I went to. Plus, I like filmed like a little clip or video called Countdown to Seymour's Destruction, which the title was like a reference to Countdown to Destruction, but the destruction was was for Seymour. Which in the clip I shot for my vlog slash slash clip compilation, it was like the actor for Andros, Christopher Cayman Lee. And the actor for Carlos, Roger Velasco, I think. Oh yeah, and also... And also, uh... I know the actor's name, or just... Stain. Justin... No, not... Oh, wait. Is his name Justin Nemo? I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. I think it was Justin Nemo, like the Silver Ranger, for like doing a panel. Then they did, they brought out a, P a pinata, which was like, which was, which looked like Seymour. And <laughs> then, like, Roger, Velas Roger Velasquez, no, Velasco, uh, I'm in trouble with last names, I'm sorry. Carlos was after Roger, like, destroyed the. The Seymour pinata. Because <laughs> it was a pinata and they're gonna destroy it. Uh, that was funny. Because also it was filled with booze. Now, I'm not a drinker, so I didn't get any booze. But my papa, my brother would have probably would have got a little bottle too. Because, you know, he likes his drinks. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> So that was, oh, one more thing. My broke also got me some stickers from PMC. So I got a 
Okay, Red Slash, Super Mega Force Red Ranger sticker. And he got me all five MMPR Red Rangers like in sticker form. So I have Jason slash Rocky, Billy, Trini slash Ashley slash Min, Zach slash Adam, and Kimberly slash Cat. So my brother got me the, the five red range, the five MPR red rangers in sticker form, and he also got himself, oh he of course he got himself the the green the green ranger sticker and I think the white ranger sticker or the silver ranger. Did he get the? Yeah, I think he got himself the green ranger stickers. So yes, I I have still have it, but the stickers on my stuff because. I love these stickers. Okay. Put it back in proper place. Oh yeah, and also, so this will be like the last few minutes, but I'm also going to show off some, uh, like a Power Ranger DVD that I got. During that year, and also some two other Power Ranger DVDs I didn't show off in my last Power Ranger collection video. So these three here are some of my Power Ranger DVDs, my Power Rangers collection. Okay, so the two DVDs that so the two DVDs I didn't show off from Power Rangers Mystic Force back in the day when like Disney was releasing. The Power Ranger seasons, excuse me, when they were releasing the Disney seasons for Power Rangers, they like usually release like half of the seasons, no, not half the season, half the episodes on like on a bunch of DVDs, which were like three or four episodes per DVD. So I got volume three, I'm missing volume one and two. Let's see. Oh, okay. So I have volume three of Power Rangers Mystic Force, which is called Fireheart. Also, it's like you can watch it on JetX. So here's the side. And here's the back. And here's the inside, which has the little padlet. So cool. So. The episode selection is Fireheart, Petrified Xander, Scaredy Cat, and a bonus episode, which is Rager Down. One moment. Okay. So the next DVD I have here, right, the next DVD I have here in my collection is Power It's the second Power Rangers Mystic Force DVD, which is the what they call it the Blockbuster Power Rangers Mystic Force Dark Wish, which was like a the exciting full link blockbuster. That's the title on the or as the description on the padlet says. So here is the front, also promoted by JetX, which it used to air. Now JetX doesn't exist anymore. Now it's called Disney XD. So anyways, here's the front, here's the spine, and here's the back, which includes a bonus episode of Ying Ying Yo, and more stuff. And also the Power Rangers Forces of Nature featurette, in their bonus features. Here's the disc. I, unfortunately, I don't have the padlet, because I got it at a Goodwill. Along with this DVD. So the last item I'm going to show off to you guys in this episode is my complete season DVD set of Power Rangers Wild Force. Power Rangers, which is called Power Rangers Wild Force. The complete series. 
which has all 40 episodes. So, here's the front, which has all the ranger suits, minus the silver ranger. Here's the spine, which is five DVDs in total. This one is yellow and has the yellow Wild Force Ranger. And here is the back, which has the info of the show, how many episodes it has, and some of the characters and villains. And here is the episode, and here's the list of the disc, of all the discs with the episode titles and how many episodes each disc has. So we have disc one, disc two. Disc 3, Disc 4, and Disc 5. Pause for thumbnail. Okay. So, that's it. That, this is going to be the end of the first episode of my Power Ranger Power Rangers Talk Series. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. This is Pikachu Master 5 for 2, signing out. Peace, and have a great week. Bye, and see you next time for some more awesome Power Rangers content. Do, 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 Bye, and remember, stay being your true and awesome selves, my Pika Pals. See ya, and stay awesome.